So about like three weeks ago or so, uh, I went to the dentist, which like, usually that's not that big of a deal. I don't mind the dentist. I go every six months and they just tell me everything's fine. Keep up the good work. But this time, um, this time was a little bit different. Everything was going normal. Um, everything seemed fine. They said I had no cavities or anything. But then um, the dentist comes out at the end and he starts asking me questions about like my cheek. And I thought that was weird. But like this cheek bothers me kind of a lot. Um, it started like 10 years ago. I bit my cheek and I got an abscess that was like super big, like the size of a baseball. It was like so excruciating. But I ended up going to the hospital for that and every, ever since then, like it's always kind of been weird. Like it's kind of a little bit swollen and you know, sometimes I bite it again and it's just, you know, I don't know. It's been like that forever. So after I told him that, you know, how my cheek has always been a problem, um, he asked me if I'm a smoker and I said no and he went hmm and I said but I used to you know I smoked for like most of my 20s um, I just quit a few years ago um, he pulled up a picture of this white spot um, it was it's inside of my cheek this like little just white spot I'll try to like put a clip in here of like the actual spot if you want to see Trigger warning. So if like you don't want to see the inside of my mouth, um, don't look. <laughs> this lighting is kind of weird, but I'm going to try to show you. And he said that I should definitely go to the doctor and get a biopsy because it looks like oral cancer. And he said it's very common and yeah, basically I should just, I should definitely get it biopsied. And I was very surprised. <laughs> Oral cancer. I mean, I'll admit for a majority of my twenties, I w lived a pretty self-destructive lifestyle. You know, I, I smoke too much, I drink too much, but I expected you know, oral cancer, well, I didn't expect oral cancer at all. I expected maybe like, you know, some lung, lung cancer, you know, classic, maybe some emphysema. I mean, those suck too, but oral cancer wasn't even on my radar at all. Like, I thought that was for people who did like the, like ate the tobacco or they just like put it in like their cheek and like suck on it for a while. Like, it's freaking gross. I don't, I don't know if anyone does that anymore still, but like those people are the ones that get oral cancer, right? That's what I thought. And I went home and I made a doctor's appointment for myself and it turns out they couldn't even get me in until October 20th. Now, mind you, this was back on like September 21st that I had this dentist appointment. So all this time I've been waiting, <laughs> thinking about it. I told myself I wasn't going to worry about it. There's nothing I can do anyways. And I don't want to worry about something that might not even happen, you know? <laughs> so I knew I shouldn't do it. I told myself I wasn't going to Google it. <laughs> but I did it. <laughs> I did it. And I, I have regrets. <laughs> so I, uh freaked myself out <laughs> so bad <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh man like, uh, <sighs> the pictures are insane they're absolutely horrifying and uh, I didn't realize like with oral cancer a lot of people get like disfigured like pretty bad from what I saw is it weird that I am way more scared of being disfigured than I am of even dying? <laughs> so anyways, I started like scrolling through all the pictures, um, looking for something that looked similar to the white spot that I have. And I like, I saw like very scary things, but none of them seemed to be really close to what I have. 
until I, I found it. I found it. I found one that just looked very, very close to it. And it said like early diagnosis cancer. And that sucks. And then I looked at like other things, hoping that, you know, I could find something else maybe that looked like what I have that was a cancer, um, but I could not. When I was Googling, I also looked up like life expectancy and stuff, and I didn't like that either. I'm like, my kids are so young. I have a one-year-old and a five-year-old with special needs. You know, I need to be around for at least 20 more years, you know? they'll need me so yeah I've had you know a few weeks now to think about this and it's definitely made me realize some things you know even if it's not cancer like I just I realize some things um, one is that I, I don't take enough pictures you know or videos like I don't you now I have tons of pictures and videos of the kids I mean way too many some would say <laughs> but they're just so cute so I have tons tons of pictures and videos of them but like not a whole lot of me you know and if something did happen to me I think you know the boys would really appreciate having that so I'm definitely gonna work on that <sighs> another thing I realized is that you know, especially lately, I've been so hard on myself, like so hard on myself. You know, I, I see some signs of aging, you know, like crow's feet, smile lines, and you know, it's been freaking me out and I've been kind of obsessing over it, you know? Yeah. So <clears throat> the truth is, I mean, who's going to care about my crow's feet when I don't have a freaking jaw? priorities <laughs> you know how they say bad things come in threes um, well first my appendix exploded a few months ago and it almost killed me that that was very scary then Zeb got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and that was really scary too and then we found out that um, um, our, our dog, Chloe, um, she has cancer and, um, you know, she's been my best friend for 14 years, you know, and I like, <laughs> I definitely can't talk about it. So that's three things. So what the hell is this? <laughs> I guess I'll find out on the 20th. Well, I mean, not then, because I don't know if they do, like, the biopsy there, or if they, like, refer me to somewhere else to do it. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Plus, it takes time for them to, like, you know, get it all done. So I recently told my therapist, I said, the consequences of my actions are raining down on me. <laughs> and it was about something, like, totally unrelated, but, like, you know, it still fits. <laughs> I guess it still is. <laughs> uh. So I'm recording this on Friday the 13th. And it's already been like three weeks. And I still have another week until my doctor's appointment. So <sighs> just waiting, waiting, waiting. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a scare. And I'll laugh about it one day, you know. But no matter what, um, you know, I feel like I've kind of got my priorities online now, you know, definitely a lot more than I did last month anyway. <laughs>